Hello and welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Welcome to Saturday, which happens to also be Christmas Eve. We got a fun show as planned, the fifth annual Willet Antenna Christmas Light Edition. I've made another contraption, and hopefully we'll make some contacts before we blow up some of those bulbs. <laughs> so enjoy the memes as we kick things off. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you're having a great time with your family. A well-deserved break for those of you that have been working a lot of hours, I assume. And we'll get started real soon. Oh man, so many people in the chat. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming out. On Christmas Eve, no doubt, too. Thanks for that. All righty. Hello again. Welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Wow. So, I know some of you are watching this for the first time, and so I'll, don't worry, we'll explain everything that's going on here. But uh, I have built an antenna out of Christmas lights, just like the ones you see above my head, although not the old style, right? We're talking the little incandescent twinkle bulbs. Uh, I'll be doing a video explaining my process in case any of you want to go down this road as well. It's actually quite fun as kind of a demonstrator type of thing. Uh, for showing people kind of what you can do with Christmas lights. They're not good antennas, but you definitely light them up. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. All right. Uh, let's we got a lot to cover so we're just gonna dive in hit up all the things like we normally do here. So want to say big thank you to my wife for running uh, hamtactical.com. Obviously, you're not going to be able to buy any of this stuff and get it before tomorrow. But if you're so inclined, that FT8 neoprene bag is the hotness for taking all your little bits and bops into the field. And, of course, our plethora of T-shirts that are usually designed from our podcast, the Ham Radio Crash Course podcast, which drops every week. So if you're inclined, go check that out. And a little bit of Christmas cheer. Uh, we had someone donate a Ham Radio Deluxe, you know, buy a gift for your friend license code that we'll be dropping at the end of the show. So the way we're going to do this is completely chaotic. If you have Hammer New Deluxe and you don't have a license for it yet, or let's say you've got the demo, for instance, you downloaded it, but you don't have a license, I'm just going to be putting the numbers on the screen and the first one that gets it, gets it. So you may want to just have that ready to go uh, to type it in as fast as you can. So, hey, just uh, just something to think about. All right. OK, so what what do we got going on? Well, let me let me walk you through all this. So if you don't already know, uh, I have a, a ICOM 7610 and I have an Ameritron 811H, which really you're only going to get about 500 watts out of it on uh, on digital modes. And frankly, it's not really a, a good amp for doing digital modes. Regardless, those twinkle lights don't have that much into them and they can't really take uh, more than 300, 400 ish watts before it they're, they're they're done um yeah where's my 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 bulb is actually it's a it's a green bulb so uh that works out for the the look there against the green screen so i have the ldg what we like to call the pro 1000 connected to it the pro 2 uh 1000 which will handle a full 1000 watts and that tuner transmatch device is connected to this so that is a 50-foot Roan push-up mast, and running vertically, basically as the picture is shown, we have a length of uh, lights that have been all wired together and connected. And we get something like this that goes to the other side of the roof and then down to a uh, Palomar Engineers 49-to-1 Unun that can take upwards of 1500 watts of power. So we have no problem on that front. So that's the that's the setup for all of this, okay? That's that's what we're going to be putting power into. And it is getting dark enough that we probably will be able to see some of these lights uh, kick off pretty soon here. So I will be starting out um, just to get the show going. We'll start out about 50 watts and then we'll start just incrementally going up until, uh, well, until the lights are no more. And yes, you will see them. Now, 
caveats, uh, big caveats. Every year, this is uh, completely chaos. The, the fact that these lights work or don't work is totally up to the lights. I've given them the best chance I can. Um, but, you know, if one goes bad at the wrong location, it could take out the whole string. So we put a lot of faith in each one of these bulbs that they're going to do what they need to do. Uh, so, you know, hey, that's uh, that's how it goes. So I I am. Um, <laughs> we already got a couple of people talking about the weather. Hey, let me just say right up front um, for all our all the people watching. I hope you're staying warm and safe. Um, you know, I, I was talking to Vern. We were chatting uh, on the text, and, you know, he's already had some difficulties in the cold. I know a lot of you are going through it right now, and, you know, I, I appreciate I you, and I hope you're staying safe. And we got a super chat. Hey, appreciate you, Camboy. Blasted through earning my tech in three days and just passed the extra. This channel has been a great resource. Happy holidays to everyone. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, I'm not just going to have some collages to show you, some images. you got to see this all live, right? So you're wondering, how are you going to show us what's going on? Well, like this. So this is a live uh, video feed into the backyard looking. Now we're looking across from the mass that my Arden mesh is on along that wire. And then you can see that 50-foot mass in the background. And we're also looking at my 7610, which is displaying its SWR meter. We're starting out on 20 meters, FT8, because, you know, not that we can't do voice, but uh, to be honest, we want to see how much <laughs> power we can throw down these things and make them pop eventually. So uh, this is the setup right here, guys. This is what we've been, what we've been uh, getting up to the, this last week, building this thing out. Hmm. All right. Hey, thank you, John. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. All right. So, as a as a side note, and I'll show you this on uh, on the video out here. So this is my seventy six ten screen. You're looking at the meter, but if I if I drop this back to the dual scope, I want I do want to make something clear about these antennas. This top um, waterfall that's actually the Christmas light antenna. It's not great. This is a receiving loop. This is the receiving loop that um, that Chameleon has, the Chameleon receive loop. So I'm using this as the receive antenna, and we're going to be transmitting with the Christmas lights. A bit of a variation of what we've done in the past. So let's go back on over here. Nope, we'll get to that in a second. Nope, not that. We'll we'll possibly come to this. We don't trust me when I say the antenna isn't great. <laughs> we don't need to necessarily do an SWR test, but we might take a look. Uh, Monkey Flyer sends a super chat. Thank you so much. Currently studying for Tech General, considering a 7100. Do it all base stations to get started. Thoughts? Uh, it's, a, it's a fine radio. Uh, I, I happen to like it for mobile installations because, again, it is VHF, UHF, and HF. The only downside is you can't do VHF, UHF at the same time you're doing HF, and all the all-in-one boxes suffer from this. Also, if the radio for some reason goes bad on you, then you'll lose the whole thing. So, Right? Right. Anyway. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and tune up the radio, or sorry, let's tell the antenna tuner, which is a transmitter matching device, to align itself so that the radio will be happy. So let's go ahead and do that. And it seems to think that it's okay, although I don't think it is okay. So that's not that's not good news. Uh, let's go right on over to here. And we'll go ahead and start calling CQ. First, let me do a, a quick tune and see where we're at. Uh, seems to be okay. Hold on. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. All right, we're going to start at 50 watts of power output. You can see that there. And we're going to see how we do. Pink lines above my head on the map are going to be people that can hear me on the Christmas lights. And we will begin transmitting momentarily. And, of course, if you hear me, say something. Reach out. And we are transmitting now. SWR just shot right up. <laughs> That's not good. Hold on one second. Let's stop that for a second. Oh, we're getting out a little bit. There we go. That's high SWR. It shouldn't be that high. Are 
I know for a fact them radio Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, the SWR just went up again. Next uh, year, take the lights vertical with the giant Santa balloon. Uh, that's probably going to be on the list for sure. Let's see. Why might it be a problem? Hmm. What I'm going to do, let's turn that off, make sure it's off. We are getting a contact from KM9G. Hey, KM9G, I'll take the... <laughs> The the negative thirteen. Why aren't you tuning, tuner? You were working fine, of course, before we go live. I did a quick little test. KM nine G Steve, right out of the gate, the first person to make a contact potentially. We'll see. Yeah, there you go. That's uh that's pretty cool. So let's see if we got that seventy three here. And we did, so we closed out of contact. Uh, really quick, I'm going to bump the power a touch to 75 and retune it. Let's see. Let's see if this will do. Interesting. All right, let's slide down a little bit and retune. Nope, that's not what I want. Come on, bud. It's really happy with itself, so it thinks it's good. All right, we're going to change bands for a second, and we're going to go back to the screen here. Let's go up to, let's see, 17. Okay, seemed to like that. Let's check it. Okay, the SWR is coming down, so let me go back up to 20. We always play some games with this because obviously we're talking about like light bulbs, right? It's not just a straight piece of wire, so none of this equipment is supposed to be working with this kind of stuff. All right. I'm going to go up to 75 watts. Here we go. No, it doesn't it doesn't like that uh that SWR is still high. It's also not really dark enough yet. <laughs> we got to wait before we start blowing up these bulbs. Yeah, James, it's not it it's it's still kind of too bright out. We're going to play around with this until we get it going. Okay. Um, better. Um, yeah, Leia, you can turn off the Edison bulbs. I don't think it's going to change anything, though. The Edison bulbs don't affect anything. It just looks like good ambiance in the background, to be honest. Uh, Clazer. Yeah, I did. Hey, we got a contact. All right. I am watching the screen. 
I'm watching my phone. My phone is what we're looking at this camera here. Oh, wait, KM9, you gave me a second contact. Okay. <laughs> Let's give it 100 watts. Interesting. Why are they not lighting up? I don't think I lost one this soon. But we are getting out further, so it's doing something. So let's just hold tight. We're going to turn I know off. I for a fact them radio waves is harmful. Hey, Vern, thank you so much for the super chat. Merry Christmas to all. Family just arrived up here on the mountain, so got to run. Team Replay, blessings from KV5SIX and KV5S, uh, sorry, KR5SYX. And one from Jose Morales, a, a hippopotamus with a sticker. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. All right, people are starting to see me, so. Yeah, I'm uh I'm streaming the iPhone the the camera off the iPhone. Maybe my tuner isn't happy. I only drag this thing out once a year to do uh to do this. <laughs> Well, we are getting out. As you can see here, we are starting to make some contacts. But they're not lighting up as bright as they used to in the past. Now, remember, I'm buying uh I'm buying these every year, right? So, every year I buy them, they could be slightly different, although I expect, you know, they're Generally, all right. They all seem the same to me. Yeah, it's it's uh, got a really high SWR. Why don't we... I'm going to jump down. Let's see. Let's. What do we want to do? I 20 meters was okay with this initially, but it seems like we're having problems with it. So I'm going to step down to 17. And let's see if we can... Let's see if we've got anybody out there. Mm. Uh, yes, Ron, I absolutely did test the lights. But, of course, I'm, I'm trying not to run power through them because I'll just blow them up. So that's kind of how I, I do this. Is We're, we're generally kind of live testing them. In the past, they do pretty okay, but we'll see how it goes. John sends a super chat. Hello from... 
Blizzard Mecca, Gaylord, Minnesota. Loving your green snow and lights. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, we, we definitely have a nice thing going on here with weather. So we've got nobody on 20 or 17. So let's go to 40 and see what we do up there. It looks like there's way more signals on 40. So uh, let's see if we can just tune that up. <laughs> it's definitely trying. Hopefully you can hear that in the mic. It's weird, though, that it's not showing anything. That's the weirdest part about this. The lights usually come on by, by 100 watts. So I'm going to do something really fast. Them radio waves is harmful. It wouldn't be one of these live streams if I didn't run outside really fast. So I'm going to run outside and I'm going to go look to make sure that it's uh, it is uh, the wire still connected and everything. So Klepton 30, thanks for all the help uh, you give us and Merry Christmas. Well, thank you very much. Let's let's uh, I'm going to go outside really quick and make sure we're OK with everything. I'll be right back. I promise. Okay. Yeah, I'll sit there. I'll sit there too. I know for okay. a fact them radio waves is harmful. Let's try N8YO. Well, it seems to be happy on 40. Jose Morales, thank you so much for the super chat. K. Q four C Q U. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll let everybody know too. This is Christmas Eve, so my family actually we do have people over, so there won't be any after chat. I apologize for anybody that was looking for that. Um, so we'll have to do it next week. We'll hang out next week. Now, forty meters, much better. So I don't know what's going on. We're transmitting better on forty. It looks like than uh, than twenty for sure. Well, and I say transmit. The SWR is not freaking out, which is really the only thing I care about. Yeah, sorry, no after chat. N8YO is a negative three to me, and I'm putting all the power I can into it. I'm not seeing them light up, though. What's going on? But we got a wire and it's doing something. Okay, so we are getting out there on 40 now. Not great, but we're getting out there. N8YO, I can't, I can't copy, you're not copying me, I copy you just fine. It seems to like this, though, it seems to be okay with this. Oh my god, we're getting heard up in Alaska? That was on uh, 20 meters. Yes, I'm using Grid Tracker. Grid Tracker is what's visualizing all that.
Hey, Captain Mason says, Merry Christmas. Thanks for inspiring me to get my license. Love the podcast. Well, thank you for listening to the podcast. I've been studying for general along with Leia, KK7CSK. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, what's the antenna this year? I'll show you again really quick because we... Um, it is this 50-foot mast with a, a wire of... Let me get the alert box out of the way there. That wire is all Christmas lights, and it goes up to this 50-foot mast there. And so that's what we're using today. It's wild, though, that we're not seeing the light. So I'm worried. The wire is obviously doing wire-like things, which is what we expect. But we also expect to see some light, even at 100 watts. So something else is afoot here. But it is working. It is antenna-ing. Uh, the wire is about 70 feet, a little bit on the north side. Uh, what kind of push-up mast? It is a Roan 50-foot push-up mast. Yeah, that is the back of my, uh, that's the road that, that backs up to my house. Uh, good question. So uh, the, the 7610 can't transmit on the receive antenna. There's an actual BNC port for the receive antenna. So it is transmitting on the, on the proper antenna. All right. Well, we might be at the uh, the time where we about five thirty. We'll we'll turn the amp on. Monkey flyer? No, I don't. Other than uh, quadcopters, so drones and whatnot, I fly those. A drone, I know, can also be a fixed wing craft, but quad rotor craft. Somebody told me I had to say a specific way, and I always forget what it is because it's not, you know, you can't just say drone and expect people know what you mean there. I'm going to change my frequency. I think somebody's stepping on me. Yeah, that's... Yeah, exactly. So that's what I kind of thought. 20 was good, though. I was testing 20 today. Obviously, during the day, though, I'm not going to see the light. But yeah, we'll we'll put the amp on here shortly. We'll tune it up. And uh, I it, it, okay, the wire is working, so I'm pretty sure that we'll see some lights here in a second. All right, and yes, Merry Christmas to Adam as well. And happy holidays to all of you for watching me go through this live. Appreciate appreciate you. 467 people watching. Thank you for that. It seems quite happy with the uh, with the SWR, and we are seeming to make a couple of contacts, which is good. I'm I'm a little uh, curious though. The flickering the 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 camera is really really close to the antenna, so when we start turning on the power, we might lose the camera. <laughs> So if you haven't watched this before, again, fifth annual, we've done this five times now. You can go back and watch all my crazy contraptions. This is the tamest but the highest antenna that I've been able to do so far. Um, we, 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 we have all kinds of problems when we start turning the amp on. Things start fl flickering and flashing and we lose microphones and cameras and all that fun stuff uh, when we start doing that. And don't worry, we will, because why not? <laughs> why not? That's why we're here. All right, I think it's time we we prepare the amp. All right, so what we do for that, um, you're not going to see it because it's going to be off camera a, a touch, but I am going to 
Uh, make sure we're not transmitting. Let me make sure. We, let me close out this contact if I can. Hopefully, we got it with KA7 DB, DGB. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cigar time. <laughs> Something's gonna be smoking. Hopefully, not my house though. So that's nope, nope. All right, let's try. Let's try it again. Transmitting 100 watts. No light though. I'm a little. I'm a little unhappy about that. So we could have lost a bulb or something. And now again, again, if you lose a bulb, that's not necessarily game over. Um, with that said, when you lose a lot of bulbs, then it, it's not. They're not going to be as effective as they were. Okay. So KA7 DGB, hang tight because I'm gonna. I'm gonna tune up the amp now. So let's drop this guy down to. 20 watts actually we'll go to 30 because we're on 40 now so 40 put the plate somewhere in the realm about there all right so we're going to change the mode to cw Let's get off frequency for a second. Okay. Give it a little bit more power. Come on now. Yeah, it's chugging. It doesn't like it. Uh, snow cones, I already mentioned. I won't be doing an after chat today. And no, we don't allow uh, camera streaming on the after chats as a side note because we've got... Uh, it, it, it's too complicated. Camera freezes on TX. Okay, so we're... <laughs> We're getting closer. Is that why we're not seeing the the light? I think that might be actually because I've lost the camera. That might be why we're not seeing it. Yeah, because I've lost the camera. I think that's what happened. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That's why we're not seeing the light is because it's freezing. Oh, no. It's too close. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. That's not good. All right. Let's, let's do this again here. I think that's what it is. I think it's the camera is not. Yeah, because a car just magically appeared on the screen right there. I think that's fun. I think that's why that happened. Interesting. That is very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and drop this down a touch.
All right. No, it's not happy with that either. Oh, man. This is not going to be an easy one, is it? Let's see. The lights were in the front yard last uh, the last two years. Um, the year before that, it was the Christmas tree. That was in the front yard. Oh, yeah, the timestamp is freezing and dying. Oh, man. Okay. Lesson for next year. Don't have the camera anywhere near this thing because it's not going to like it. Um, let's get out of that now. Let's go back to the FT8 frequency. <clears throat> let's see if it'll tune up here. In um... I know for a fact them radio waves is harmful. I think we're losing the uh, the camera. That's why you're not seeing it. All right, we're gonna back this down. Let's see if we can transmit on FT8. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay. All right, there's FT8 noises. We see that on the waterfall now. Mm. Randall, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. The tuner is not auto-tuning. Come on, buddy. Ooh, it's given up. The tuner is not happy with that. Um, all right. What's going on there? Let's see. How about now? Oh, okay. It likes that? All right. We might be good. We might have got it. We are, I'm going to back that off a touch because things are starting to click in the house. <laughs> yeah, and the clock stopped. And then it jumped, it caught up. The SWR is pretty stable right now. Um, oh, that's a bummer if you guys can't see the lights. That's the whole point of this. I know for a fact them radio waves is harmful. Randall, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Got into radio because of you. Calling on FT8. Okay, let's see if we can get it to go. Um, yeah, we lost the light. Um, what can I do? What can I do? Well, you can't, the camera, the, uh, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, Paul. So the, the camera is too close to the I transmitting antenna, and so now normal. you're not able to see it. No, it, it, the RF is, look at the timestamp. I'm transmitting right now. The time stops. It completely stops.
Oh, man. I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I am going to, let's see, what can I do? All right, I got something that might work. Hold on. Camera's freaking out. Camera did a barrel roll. I know. Okay. So hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. I'm going to run. I'm going to pause for a second. Uh, I'm going to pause the FT8 for a minute. I'm going to put this camera in the backyard. I will be right back. We're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's not focusing. Let's uh let's give it a tune really fast. Those lights aren't doing anything, are they? What is going on with this antenna? All right, let's give it a go. I can't see the lights. That's my camera, though. Should be anyway. No, I haven't. I haven't been on the Step IR. The Step IR would do way better than this. Jay Rogrich, thank you so much for the super chat. All right. When it's doing its thing, I'm going to run out here really fast. 
It's the, well, thank you, everybody. It's the thought that counts. I appreciate you all too. Thanks for watching. Uh, okay, look. <laughs> I got to go outside and see this. I want to see this if it's. No, didn't blow up. The fuse is gone. There's no fuse. It's just straight up wire. It is transmitting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to walk outside. Be right back. It is definitely not lighting. We're putting some power down, but yeah, they're pointed in the backyard and there's no lights on. Something something got screwed up. Yeah, no, it's not. Well, if it is the one bulb, it is the one bulb. I didn't put any power through them, though, this year. So what's going on with our lights? Are the lights starting to fail on us? Do we not have the same? This is 400 watts, pretty solid. It's just dumping 400 watts into the wire. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Mike. i sorry. I apologize. Uh, let's see. What can I do? I got one more thing I can try. Hold on. What time we got? Oh, we got. To, I got to make this happen. Let's see if we can. Uh... Am I outputting signal? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to five minutes. Oh yeah, no, we we're, we're we're not doing much of anything. This is five minutes on Grid Tracker. This was thirty seven seconds ago was the last person that heard me. Oh boy. No, you can't use LED. You can't use LED for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, K Booty. I'm sorry. Uh, let me. Okay, with it transmitting, I'm gonna run outside really fast on the other side and see if I'm. If I could see where the problem is. I got a light.
I am beside myself. What? I am so confused because everything, all the bul bulbs look good right up against the wall. Everything looks solid. What's the problem? Why are the lights not on? I literally tested this last night. Yeah, doubly sure we're on the right antenna. That'd be a really impressive tuner if it's just we're just dumping power into nothing into a bare coax. <clears throat> what in the heck? Uh oh, we lost <laughs> we lost everything. Huh. Yeah, what the heck? Let's throw it on the scope. Let's see. <clears throat> so I'm going to, let's see, got to put that into bypass. We're not transmitting? Yeah, we're not transmitting. I'm going to do a multi and see what it thinks. All right, 2.87 on 15, not bad on 6. We've lost some, 1.5 on 6. Yeah, we've lost some distance then. Huh. But where? Because all the bulbs are intact from what I saw. That's weird. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, it's only going to, it only measures the coax though. It's not going to measure the antenna. I'd have to go outside and actually measure it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not happy on 40. Now, mind you, we're talking about literally a, a line of Christmas lights. Nothing, no, nothing good is is happening on Christmas lights. Oh my gosh! What a mess. Uh, um, yeah, so there's, okay, so I ran outside and everything, everything that I could see, like, uh, all the bulbs I could see were totally fine. And we're talking about the ones that were right up against the, uh, the body <clears throat> of the, of the Anon. I agree with no code. What did no code say? Where is he? Let me go back up here. Hey, well, this is the fifth time of us doing this, and the uh, you, you can't do stuff like this and expect that it's going to work every time. Uh, let's see. Oh, get off that antenna real fast. Make sure I do that. Take it out of bypass. Let's see. Try a different ballon. Try a different ballon. I can't do a different ballon because I don't have any ballons that will handle uh, over 100 watts.
switch the hot and the ground. <laughs> yes, you did, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you for going through the effort of shaving. Um, that's not how this the, this box works, though. There's a there's a hook at the top, and that's where the, the strong connector is. And the ground's on the side. Uh, yes, common mode choke is on the coax. Because one wire goes all the way to the end, the other line of lights probably blown. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably a blown light. That's inevitable, but uh, we usually get a lot more light. We didn't get any light, which is really surprising. <laughs> yeah, there's a dead squirrel in the backyard. Maybe try a ballon, even if it can handle 100 watts, and you at least know if it's a ballon or not. Eh, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. No. <laughs> yeah, so if you think that the plug's still attached to this, then then you're on a completely different game. Um, there's no plug attached. It's a straight wire with the lines. I strip all the other lines off. There's no plug. Hmm. Um, kind of, sort of, but we're literally talking about one line. It's just one line of lights, as we've done every year. <laughs> okay, let me think through this. We didn't get any lights get rid of the balance. I can't get rid of the balance. Well, I can I can replace it with something else and we can try to lower power. Uh Yeah, all the lights are in series. They're just straight up in series on a on a single line. That that would take me so plugging straight into an SO239 would take me hours to rebuild it because then you have to have like a counterpoise and you're gonna be like mono band at that point. <laughs> right? <laughs> Tell them that it's unacceptable. <laughs> well, I'm hearing oh, I'm hearing you all on the other antenna, that's why. Uh let's see. Well, thank you, William, for the super chat. Thank you for the uh condolences super chat. What the heck? That's very frustrating. Okay, so what did we do wrong here? Bust out the multimeter, check the continuity. Um, I could do that, but then I'm gonna be off stream for a minute. I know for a fact them radio waves. Wire are it to the back of the tuner. I can't do all that in the live stream. Run 1500 watts to another antenna and see if it light at all. Run 1500 watts to another antenna. No, that's not gonna. I just put the step IR back on. We're making contacts. Uh, no. So, well, okay. Daytona, great question. And, and save that for next week. Join us on the after chat. And we can, uh, dissect that. Go to, <laughs> go to Walmart and solve the problem. Buy more lights. We'll do it live. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a thing we could do. Okay. Hold on. I got it. All right. So all the bulbs that I saw were completely fine. There's no busted bulbs. That doesn't make any sense then. All right, let me let me let me try this really fast. Let me let me go back to twenty, and let's tune it up here. Oh, it's not gonna like that at all. 
get that off there. Interesting. Uh, okay. There is like very few people on 20 meters, but I'm going to try and transmit on 20 and see what happens here. Um, let's do that. I may have to redo this and do it next week. <laughs> Happy New Year, uh, Christmas light antenna on the air. What the heck? Oh, yeah, that's through the roof. That's not going to work. 20 meters is all gobbed up. There is something wrong with this thing. Which doesn't make any sense because it worked fine last night. I tested it out at 100 watts and it was fine. So there's something else going on. No, I checked all the bulbs. Well, okay. Uh, ultimately, yeah, you'd have to go through and check all the bulbs, which I'm not looking forward to doing that. Um, this is kind of nuts. Why would it have been... Melt the ballon. It could be... Okay, I I'm, I'm willing to go swap the ballon. I will do that. But we're not going to be able to put much more than like 200 watts, or who cares? We'll just blow the ballon up. Shake the string of bulbs and screw. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'll go do that as well. Okay, everybody watching, I'm gonna go swap. I'm gonna go swap the ballon. There is one right next to it that I'll put back on. Um, the bulbs did light up yesterday. On the 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 on on they're on. Okay. Okay. I I will do that. I'll shake the, the line, and I'm going to grab the multimeter. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to leave the multimeter in here. We'll test it when I pull it off the um, off the unit. And here we go. We're going to take this light, and we're going to go get it done right now. All right, everybody hang on. I'll be right back. <laughs> I know for a fact them radio waves is harmful.
I know for a fact them radio waves is harmful. All right, Jesus, here we go. I know for a fact them radio waves is harmful. Ready for some lights? I have no idea that's going to happen, but we're going to try it. We're going to work through it. Leia left, by the way. <laughs> Not because of me, but she'll be back shortly with the rest of the folks who are here. So let me go back to... Uh, that camera. So I know for a fact that radio waves is harmful. The camera let me down too. This is a cacophony of errors. Whew. Uh, let me catch up on I some know super chat. Radio waves is harmful. Philip Brown, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Twenty is dead as those lights, Clark. <laughs> it's Clark Glitz all the time. It is seriously. Woo, buddy. Uh, Josh, fancy that. The HOA just stopped by your yard just as we're coming back inside. Man. All right, so let's see. We got the light. Okay, so I got the camera back. I don't know if you can see it over here. You can. All right. Um, so I have the other uh, on unconnected. I'm back off of the amp. Let's see. 100 watts. Let's see if we can tune it. Not getting any light, but also at the same time, again, this is a suspect uh, camera. Let me see if I do that again. Oh, interesting. No. All right. <clears throat> so let's get off of that. Let's go to 40. I know for a fact them radio waves is harmful. Had no problem with 40. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. The lights aren't twinkling. I know. We're working on it. Here, let's let's try this first. See what happens. So we're on, yeah, no lights. Okay, so the signal got picked up at least, but not by a lot. We're not losing the camera now on transmit, but we're also getting no power output. Like, we're not seeing the light. Oh, yeah, no, I checked this out yesterday, and we are making a contact to NorCal. I'm beside myself on this one. So I think the Ballon did something, but there's still something wrong with the antenna. Okay, I've got one more thing I can try. And then I'm going to have to wrap this up and we're going to have to uh, get back together next weekend. <laughs> now, reminder, this is the fifth time doing this, so we have made this work. This is not something that is beyond the realm of possibility, but I've got one thing I want to try. One thing. And we may have to go back to the other uh, Anun to do it, but... I'm going to try this first. So 
Give me one more second, and then I'll give away that uh, Ham Radio um, Ham Radio Deluxe code. And we may have to just give you all a, a happy holidays. There's no little fuses. I, I, I have to drop the video just so you guys can understand what, it, what it's like to make this thing. All right, I will be right back. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Okay. This is about all I got. If it doesn't work on this, then I have to do a full, uh, full retry here. That's no lights, right? Nope. That's just the reflection. What a mess. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. I've let you all down on Christmas. I feel bad. No, it's it's not having a problem transmitting. We're just not getting the lights out. very frustrating i know for a fact them radio waves is harmful. well thank you kevin i i appreciate it and i i mean i i seriously had this working last night this is what really frustrates me yeah because an unon is like come on it's it's not that it's not and i'm uh, kind of making contacts somebody's calling me i don't know that i'm actually they're they're hearing me but okay um since we're here let me quickly do a, a yeah right that's it they're they're black lights and they're actually working <laughs> yeah that that was it the whole time but we're not losing time now when I'm transmitting which is nice but we're also not making any contacts so there's something else afoot here. Okay. All right, I'm calling it my uh, my give up this time. I am uh, so sorry, everybody watching. Let's do the giveaway really fast so that you guys can do that, and then we'll check the un on. So hopefully everybody, if you have actually a uh, reminder, Ham Radio Deluxe is what we're going to give away right now. So I'm going to give away a coupon code for a, a license for Ham Radio Deluxe, and uh, the first person that gets it gets it. Oh, I'm getting hurt in Utah. That's good, but man. Um, no, okay. Again, fifth time we're doing this and I've done some funky setups with, with these antennas. So trust me when I say there's something probably really dumb that's causing the problem. Um, so I will, I'll try and figure it out. If I figure it out, I will amend this, you know, we'll, we'll do it again next week. There's no sign up. Literally pull up your ham radio deluxe and get ready to type in this number and be the first one to do it because that's how we're going to do it. <laughs> it's just we're just going to let it go. Whoever gets it is going to get it. All right. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure. Well, I had it working and now it stopped working. So it's, it's most definitely my fault. I can't blame anybody else. <laughs> ah, there's no fuse. <laughs> there's no fuse. It's literally just a single line of lights. I've cut everything off. There's nothing else. All right. 
Here we go. Where are we at? There it is. Okay, ready, everybody? Here is the code. The first one that gets it, you get it. Thank you, Ryan. That's Aviator. Not his call sign. This is it. That's the code. If you type that in and you're the first person that gets it, you get it. Nobody else on the stream. I mean, it, 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 this is it. This is a license for Ham Radio Deluxe. You type it. Yeah, it's it's a license for Windows. If it works on Windows, hey, go for it. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you all how frustrated I am. We had oh, I had this working last night, and I put up that mast. I bolted. I I did. Um, oh man. Getting that masked up was fun. I needed to do it uh, anyway. So this gave me an excuse to do it. So look for more videos on that in the future. But I am very frustrated. Maybe you should add a few. <laughs> Shut up, booty. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, the prize of the antenna. Come get it. <laughs> I'll give you the I'll give you the string of wire. Well, yeah, at the end of the day, th these are all tiny little inductors that can that can fry out. And so in that sense, they're definitely a fuse. Oh, everybody's reposting the, the license now. Cranky, did you get it? Cranky got it? Good for you, man. That's true. Every lamp is a fuse if you get right down to it. Man, I'm frustrated. Ugh. Probably not my worst uh, on-stream fail, but definitely a fail. Uh, what is Ham Radio Deluxe? Ham Radio Deluxe is an application for controlling your station like uh, with a computer. So we use it for all kinds of things like logging, connecting to your radio, doing digital modes, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, if you want to know the background, the, the mast got taken away by some junk haulers, and we said, no, 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 that was the wrong junk, and they brought it back, and oh, my God, it was a total mess. But, yeah, why, though? Why? Why did it fail? Hmm. This is going to bug me for a while. Well, thank you, B. Murphy. I appreciate you. Appreciate all of you. But this is this is going to bug me. I am bugged. No, I got the same. Uh, so good question. Uh, let's see. Buy like no. So I I always buy. I always end up at Lowe's at some point in October, November, December, and I end up uh going through the aisles, and I'm like, I'm just gonna grab all these lights, and I buy a box of these lights. It's the same brand and lights that I've used for the last like three years, so I know they work. <laughs> thank you, Don. Hey, Don. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you, Christian. I hope you're doing well. She says, "Ho, ho, ho! Happy Christmas, Josh and family." Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, that. I, it, oh God, this is frustrating. Me. I'm think. I'm going through. Like, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Do I have it? Where is it? I'm. I'm like, in my head. Where? Where are we at? <laughs> that's that's me right now, trying to figure out what's going on with this antenna. No, it, it, it's, and again, this is a stupid, simple project. Everybody should do this, and that's why I've been doing it for the last five years. But the fact that this isn't, this one is not working is very frustrating to me. So something must have blown very close along the line, I'm guessing. Because I looked at, um, I looked I at the, the lights when I was out there and none of I, I shined the light back through them towards me and none of them were, were fried. So it's gotta be somewhere along that, that line. Oh, it's so so frustrating. 
Terry Jeffries, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I appreciate you. All right, guys. Um, what can I say? It's a big failure. Big, big, uh, big L for me. Uh, I will try and no, coax didn't fall off. I'll try and sort this out. And if I if I get somewhere I'm happy with, uh, we will we will do this again next week. It won't be all this Christmassy stuff though. We'll just be talking through the whole process. And then I'm going to show you the lights. But if you'd like to see what it looks like when it's doing its thing, go back and watch the last four years of these because um, it works when you do it right. And apparently we had some problem that it's not working right. So now I get to spend the next uh, hour or so looking over what I can get to without a ladder and figure out what the hell is going on. Man, that's that's a bummer. Oh, man. All right, guys. Uh, I... Again, appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching, particularly all you, you stuck around. Um, really do appreciate you. Hopefully we can get this sorted out, <laughs> try and recover this for par. And uh, K-Booty, look forward. Hopefully we'll do your stuff. You know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, I'm getting to it soon. I've got a whole, like, two weeks off, so I'm going to try and get some work done here. But, man. Yeah, sorry, Mike. I let you down. <laughs> I'll get it sorted out, or at least try. Brian, what did he say? And if it wouldn't be too much, I'd like to get something for you, Josh. Something. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, this is frustrating. I'm going to... Well, if all of a sudden, like an hour from now, you're like, Josh is back. He's going live again. <laughs> I figured out what the problem was. I'm going to go grab my little tiny baggie of bulbs and go walk the, walk the line. At least from what I can see. All right. Cheers, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll be back next week, regardless of it's the antenna with the with the lights, with the lights or whatnot, um, or something completely new and fun. So uh, appreciate you all. Let me say a big thank you to the pa – oh, we got patron picks. No, you know what? We don't have patron picks next week. So patron picks is uh, two weekends from now, the first weekend in January. The, the patrons get to pick – the the topic and that vote is already up and running right now so man uh i will figure out what we can do for next week and i hope it's uh i hope it's these lights i hope we can show you what it looks like maybe i'll move the antenna a little bit too i have to figure something out the good news at the end of the day is i got that 50 foot mast up that thing's pretty cool um they're they're not inexpensive you can get them for anywhere between like 200 and 250 dollars they're available on uh hro but it's like a freight charge to ship them because they're a multi-segment uh multi-segment push-up mast so with those they're kind of a they're kind of chunky but they work pretty well i do have mine guide but i don't have like a three-point guy on them i have like a two-point guy just so it doesn't fall onto the street so yeah, no after chat. You guys can go into the after chat, but I won't be there because we got we got Christmas uh, stuff at the house. It is Christmas Eve, and we do have family over, so I got to go hang out with all of them. So no after chat with me, but you guys can all go hang out, and I would encourage that. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, at least uh, bearing with me as I went through it. Now we were we were transmitting into the antenna, but I'm still there's still there's still something that is wrong it's all wrong we normally get out like coast to coast too hmm. yeah i'm quite unhappy with how this turned out all right guys uh that's enough of me lamenting i will talk to you again soon let me play out with some memes i'll, I'll figure it out or we'll never speak of it again <laughs> 73 everybody <laughs> No, it definitely wasn't not enough power, Matt. We we would see power. So, uh, good good question or good comment, but no, the the lights light up at like 50 to 75 watts. You actually see something. And then you get to 100 and it starts getting a little brighter and then you turn the amp on and it gets real bright up until about 500 watts and then they start going kaput. All right, I'm going to walk the line here. <laughs> 73 everybody. See ya. down now, but I think that's, I think that's actually what the, what the solution is. <laughs> I'll talk to you.
talk to some CBers and get it done. <laughs>